welcome to the ticker where we give you your daily dose of what's happening now. We've talked before about how terrible some real estate photography has gotten as of late and in, in the past and how we've seen a myriad of uh, Blackberry photos and things like that end up on the MLS. Well, we're starting to notice that trend, but now in video as well. And we get a lot of people that come to us and they say, hey, we want to get into video. We love what you guys do. We want to do video tours, different things like that. But what camera do we use it? And what equipment do we get? Well, a lot of people have an iPhone or an Android phone. And that right there is a good enough camera just to get started. So what we wanted to make today's show about is give you some tools that if you have an iPhone 4 or an iPhone 4S, the new one that just came out, Here's some tools you can use to take better video and photos for all of your real estate needs. We want to start out with audio because even good video isn't so good without good audio. It's really important that you're making sure that people can hear what you have to say. So whether you're doing some video blogging or maybe just some directional neighborhood videos or even just filming a home, taking mm -hmm. some pictures and you want to put some um, audio in the background, you can use what's called Brando Mini Directional Mic. And this plugs right into the headset jack of your phone and provides much better quality audio so that people can really understand what you're saying and not so much background noise. The other thing that you can do is put in what's called a KB connection. That allows you to take it a step further. If you really want something nice like maybe some lapel mics, mm -hmm or um, if you're going to do an interview or you want to be able to just walk around and do the video, the lapel mic will allow you to hold the video out and get good audio. That KV connection is really going to take you up a couple of steps. Now, if you want better actual what's seen on screen, the better photos or video, you're going to want to get the iHat 4. It is an attachment that goes onto your phone that gives you a wide angle lens for any of those iPhones. It comes from the company HD Hat and all it is it just snaps right on and you're and you're basically good to go. It has two tripod connections so you can make sure you get steady video and photo. Um, and it's just a really, really cool device that allows you to really take that, you know, almost DSLR look into an iPhone or an iPhone 4S, which is a really, really cheap alternative to, you know, spending a hundred hundreds of dollars, almost a thousand dollars on a DSLR. You get a little hundred dollar little connection I'd add on there and it really steps up the lens and it really gives you a great quality picture. Today's show is all about letting you know that you don't have to go out and buy a ton of equipment or learn how to use new things for example. Those are always the top two excuses we hear from people. So now you've got your audio better and you've got your video or your photos better. From there, you want to be able to do a little bit of editing, and Photogene is a great app for that. It's going to allow you to do a little bit of color correction and touch up some of those photos where it's going to look like you took it with a really nice yeah. camera, especially if you've already added that lens. From there, the videos, iMovie is a great way for you to be able to edit, and then you can just render those videos in your phone and post those on Facebook, YouTube, wherever you want to put them so that they get a lot of exposure out there so people know where to find you. Absolutely. So if you have something like an Android phone or a Blackberry or something like that that doesn't really work with all these different apps and connectors, we do apologize. But those types of advancements for those phones are going to be coming soon. I don't know so much for the Blackberry. I think that's on its way out anyway. <laughs> but the big thing here, guys, is, is that it's important if you want to step up your game, you can still use things that are you know, within your reach, whether it be your smartphone, maybe it's a camera you already have, maybe just getting a little bit better software, a little bit better lenses will really help you get better quality and out audio, of what you're doing. audio is really big. Audio is huge. Step up the audio. Absolutely. Anyway, guys, if this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe for free over on the side. If you have any questions about audio, video, photography, anything like that, be sure to leave them in the comment section down below. You can always check us out on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and even hang out with us on Google+. Bye, guys. Anything like that. I get so, my feelings hurt. Get over it. Because I'm kind of a baby. Sorry, I just had a little rock concert in my head there. Okay.